Hi Aquarius, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. And please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, all kinds of links there, decks I'm using. So please do go check that out. Thank you so much. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much uh, appreciated. So thank you, thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So any likes, shares, comments, support you want to give would really help the channel out since it is fairly small and we get these messages out to those who need to hear them. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Aquarius, first half of September already, almost at the end of summer. I hope everybody's doing well. This is a general reading, so if you can in some way, shape or form, fit it into a romantic setting, then I say please do that, but I will be reading it as a general reading. Okay. So this is a zodiac oracle. So we may get a planet, a sign, or an element, and we'll see how that plays into your reading for some Aquarians. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus here. All right, Leo. Oh, that is so funny because my I am a Leo and my sister is an Aquarius in Leo. So hmm, let's see. So you may have a Leo around you, some way, shape, or form. Could be a sibling, family member, friend, coworker, or maybe you have Leo in your chart. Or it could be a significant other, you know, however that plays out for you. See what's going on. See what's going on for you, Aquarius. Now, maybe a Leo around you in some way. Or somebody that has heavy Leo in their chart. Okay, let's see, this is an archangel, nope, it's a guardian angel, this is a guardian angel oracle, okay, so you have protection, oh, so maybe you have a fire sign, a Leo around you, whether it's a friend, family, co-worker, whatever here, protection, I feel like they protect you. You have somebody around you that really, really protects you. And you are protected um, by your spirit guides, your angels, the divine source. You are protected by your past over loved ones, your ancestors. So if you ever wondered that or um, thought about that, you definitely are protected in all ways here. And that's showing up right there. So like I said, it could even be by a very strong Leo in your life, whether it's a best friend, a family member, it could be a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, any sort of family member, coworker, friend, anybody, a mentor, could be just anybody. All right. And what's on the bottom of the deck here? Justice. So I feel like here... Oh, so underneath that we have unity. So justice and unity. So I really do think there's somebody here that really helps to bring balance into your life, that gives you a lot of clarity, a lot of advice. Somebody you have a very strong bond here with, with unity. Um, you know, unity is just two, two people or uniting or just uh, coming together in some way, shape or form somebody here that really really helps and guidance wow and i had said that mentors you gives you guidance clarity uh, helps you to balance out your life bring justice into your life wow so it's a lot of messages there so let's see put these over here yep so i feel like you have somebody around you that gives you a lot of guidance and it could just be your spirit team, your angel team. Uh, maybe you're divinely connected here, some of you. But you do get guided, and that could be the guidance, being guided by your spirit team, your angels, uh, your passed over loved ones, and things of that nature. Balance and justice here, truth and clarity, unity, 
having that strong connection with somebody and being very protected. Wow, Aquarius. So if some of you didn't know that or you wondered about that, I feel that specific message there for some people who wondered if they have loved ones, passed over loved ones around them, ancestors, um, angels, guides, whatever here. Yes, you do, and they are all around you protecting you. All right, Aquarius. <clears throat> okay, so let's see, let's clarify your energy now. The first half of September. Are you needing, are you, you know, the justice can be about um, justice system. So are you going through something right now that you need protection from? I don't know, that could be, you know, we got two different messages here. Some of you could be, this just happened in your love reading. I got two separate messages. Now I'm getting two separate messages for your general reading. Some of you may be going through something in the justice system where you need guidance and support and you also need protection for some reason. I don't know. So what's going on with Aquarius? Why are they in this energy? The first half of, I hope you don't need protection from a Leo. I don't know. Some of you could need protection from a Leo. Some of you may be getting uh, protection from a Leo. So I don't know. All right. I had a feeling we we're going to get two cards flip here. Okay. Because I'm getting two different energies. So we have the four of swords and the three of swords. Wow. So this is your energy, Leo. Um, sorry. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So... Wow, so the three, I feel like they go this way because it's three and four of swords. So I feel like here, three of swords, this is heartbreak, sorrow, something very painful. Very, very painful, really hurts your heart. And now this is healing over it. Um, healing, mending, recuperating, taking time alone, rejuvenating and mending. Um, just know whatever you're going through right now that was painful. I mean, some of you could be going through a painful divorce um, or something here uh, if it's not that it could just be something that you're battling in the justice system it could be anything here it's very painful but you have healing and taking time alone here thinking contemplating and just taking time for yourself but know whatever you're going through right now you are divinely protected here and you also could have somebody by your side through this whole situation that you have this uh, divine union energy with that is guiding you and protecting you all right so let uh, me tell me to shuffle okay so what is the actual three cards for the actual situation now for Aquarius what is the actual situation now for Aquarius what are they going through why are they in this energy please can we have two more not getting those all right so let's see what your actual situation is so, wow three four five of swords wow and then the king of swords and then the star this is all your energy Aquarius holy shit <laughs> the star is Aquarius we have all this sword energy you just saw me shuffle this is all air energy Libra Gemini Aquarius wow so now we have the three, the four, and now the five. So maybe someone around you here, um, energy around you, did something to you that was very hurtful. That's why we have the three of swords. She has a knife. I hope you weren't physically hurt in some way. Um, or somebody maybe around you. I don't know, and I hate to say this, but... Um, some are, someone some for some of you uh this is kind of a difficult message to say some of you had a loved one here that might have been hurt here and unfortunately passed on um no they are around you around you always that your union your tie can never be broken and you will get justice in this situation and they are around you guiding you and protecting you and this is the energy here of the Five of Swords. Somebody did something harmful, whether it was to you or a loved one here. Um, 
yeah, not a good energy there. Um, someone deceived you in some way. Somebody did something to you just to get ahead and they hurt you. They could have physically hurt you. They just did something here that uh, caused you to feel very heartbroken and betrayed. And then you had to think, contemplate, why did this happen to me? Why did they do this? You had to go through healing energy here. And now you have the King of Swords. I mean, this could be all your energy, uh, but I'm getting the Five of Swords as somebody else's energy that did something to you that was very hurtful and painful, like they took something right out from underneath you, what, whatever that was, that was very painful. Now the King of Swords energy is your energy. So I, I'm getting this two different people here because we have a brunette and a blonde. So I'm getting two different energies. Um, so now, you know, now you're finally, you know, you went through this rest period, but now you're finally standing in your truth, your clarity, you're ready to stand up for yourself um, here and protect yourself also with protection. And now you have the star, which is your energy, Aquarius energy. So this is healing. So this is being divinely guided. This is healing energy. This is patience. This is faith, hope, and optimism. So now you're, you know, you went through the resting phase here with the Four of Swords, healing, and now this is major, so you've done all the healing work, you spent the time alone, recuperated, now you're getting in your energy, that's right in the middle of your spread, getting in that energy, and this could be the energy here also of you taking that sword, this is different messages here, cutting out things no longer serving you, and you really don't care anymore, doing what's best for you, whatever hurts you in the past, you had to heal from your major healing is done now now you're standing up getting in your energy cutting away things no longer serving you telling it like it is having truth and clarity and speaking with truth and clarity wow so i don't know what the situation was here that caught that was a hurtful painful that caused you to have to heal but let's see if we get some clarification why so we have the three of pentacles. I mean, it could have been uh, work related in some way, but this is usually about teamwork collaboration. So maybe you had somebody um, in your career that you really, really trusted that you were working with, that you were sharing your knowledge with. They were learning and growing from you, but they were learning and growing from you only to steal what was yours. So if you um, were in a higher position from them, I feel like this could have been their energy of stealing your position in some way, like doing untactful things to get ahead. You know, everything they learned from you, they took it and they stole it and then they stole, I feel, your uh, career in some way. Because you see, this energy is very innocent, like sharing knowledge and working, collaborating, teamwork together, sharing the knowledge here, being very innocent, yet they were very deceptive. And it really hurts you deeply here. All right, so let's get another one here. So the high priestess. So again, <laughs> Cancer Pisces. So this could have been the other person, I feel, here, you know, was learning everything they could from you. They weren't telling you their true intentions. The high priestess has the knowledge, but they don't share. They don't talk. They don't speak. And they intuitively know, like, this person knew what their true intentions were. They knew what they were doing, but they weren't telling you what they were doing. They were taking all your knowledge here and using it for their own benefit. Wow. Oh, let's get another one. The Six of Cups. So, this could even be somebody that was a childhood friend. This could be a career you've had for a very long time. You fought long and hard. As with the three, three of Pentacles energy, you worked very hard to get to where you were. And you thought you were secure. You thought your position where you were was protected. Um, here with the guidance, I feel like with the Three of Pentacles here, you really were thought you were helping and guiding this person. When in fact, they were just using that to take what you had. To take it from you. That's a message I'm getting for some of you. The Six of Cups could have been, you know, a career you had for a very long time. Could be even a person you've known for a very long time, even since childhood. Wow. 
Ace of Wands. So this is a new start, a new beginning. Um, maybe you've decided just to move on from this whole situation and restart somewhere else. You know, being divinely guided here. You know, maybe you had a battle in the justice system over this. Maybe there were some le legalities involved in this situation. Uh, and maybe you took action and uh, got justice here. And now you're able, if you got a settlement or something like that, now you're able now to have a brand new beginning. And I feel like the Ace of Wands is being like, maybe you decide, you know what, I'm going to work for myself. I'm going to be my own entrepreneur. You know, see, being divinely guided to do so, seeing the light, knowing your way and your path. And knowing, you know what, I just want to work for myself. I want to stop my own business or do whatever ever I want to do for myself and having that brand new passionate fiery beginning on your own that's fire energy wow so let's see what your advice is now uh aquarius so wow now we have the ace of swords and the eight of swords so ace of swords is another new beginning having that your energy again your energy is coming out all over in this reading sword sword aquarius with the star sword sword now the ace of swords is your energy in the Eight of Swords. Wow. This deck definitely was meant for you today. So the Ace of Swords is another brand new beginning. Having truth and clarity. A big realization. A big epiphany. Having clear, open, honest cut communication. And no longer standing for anything that is no longer serving you. Moving forward. So your advice is here to remain in truth and clarity. Stand up for yourself cutting behind what's no longer serving you having that clear open cut communication and this is the ace of swords is usually the ace of truth and clarity that this is the truth for some of you of the matter that you need to stay in this truth and realize you're on the right path here this is a sort of victory wherever whatever direction you're going in now i feel is the right path for you and maybe now you're even doing something here with the six of cups energy you always dreamed and envisioned of doing since childhood and now you're able to do that. And the Eight of Swords energy, this is having mental blockage. So I feel like you don't need to have any mental blockage here. You have the Ace of Victor the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Victory. Um, you know the way. You you've been divinely guided here with the Ace of Swords. So you stay out of this mental entrapment and mental blockage. You know, don't let yourself get in that energy because you know the way here with the Ace of Swords. All right, so let's see what your outcome will be with this. Actually, let's get a few more clarifiers. Nine of Cups. So wish fulfillment. There you go. And the star is also about dreams coming true and wish fulfillment. And here is the Nine of Cups, water energy, with happiness and joy and wishes fulfilled and dreams coming true. So whatever way you're going now, is gonna you'll, you'll be happy, you'll be content, you'll be joyful, wishes, dreams coming true for the future. And the star energy, your energy is is um, guiding you, is guiding you. The lover. So, I mean, this doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. This is Gemini. But this is, um, you know, being divinely guided. Being um, in union with divine source, divine power here, with the guidance of the star power. And being divinely guided, becoming into union with your true self and your true purpose in your life moving forward and making those choices for yourself and going in the right direction. I mean, you could decide to partner up with your significant other moving forward also. I mean, the lovers is about a soulmate union, also a union here. So maybe the Leo could be your, your significant other who protects you, who help guide you that you're in union with. That could be a message for some. So let's see what your possible outcome could be. Strength. So there's the Leo. There's the Leo. So I feel like the Leo here is just the message of having strength, of having that determined energy, of having that fiery, passionate, go-getting, courageous and brave, strong, determined energy, and having that willpower and tenacity to keep on going and having that inner strength to hold back when you need to and move forward when you need to with the strength energy or like i said you could also have a leo in your life some way shape or form 
that is really really helping you guiding you helping to protect you in some way so let's get more clarity on your possible outcome the page of pentacles so again this is um an offer coming in and it could be about this new venture you're going on this new business this new entrepreneurship energy here maybe someone sees you you know starting off now going in a new direction starting something on your own and now maybe somebody's going to step in here and offer a helping hand saying hey you know um, i'm interested in what you're doing i can help you you know or this is you extending out to somebody you know an offer, a message, um, partnership, or something like that. But this is monetary. This is stable, secure, and grounded. So whatever you're extending out or whatever's coming in, this is about messages about this. I feel like you could trust it with the Page of Pentacles. It's sincere. It's stable. It's secure. So I feel like you can trust that if that's happening for you. The four of wands so there you go and it could be this is about marriage commitment so it could be now you and your significant other deciding to start your own business and this is the home the commitment the marriage the stability of your home and your foundation and it's right with the lovers here so some of you could be going into a business or starting your own entrepreneurship in some way with your partner here because we have Leo here and we have Leo there four of wands is fire Leo Sag Aries and that's right that's the marriage commitment home under the lovers so or they could be Gemini so for some of you it could be that or now you're just feeling very secure and stable in your home environment as you're moving forward all right so let's get bottom of the deck energy, see what we have, the Page of Swords. So again, maybe you're doing research online, it's your energy again. So maybe you're doing research online, you're learning, you're growing, you're expanding your knowledge uh, in your situation moving forward. Um, Page of Swords is also about communication, but it's also about learning things. It can be also keeping tabs on things online in some way, shape, or form, if that makes sense for you. Uh, and this is also about clear open honest communication and things of that nature with the sword energy ten of wands so burden some energy here fire energy here so this is an ending so i feel like whatever situation you were in before it was just too burdensome to stay in that situation so i think you finally decide here just to let it burn let it go and move on seven of pentacles so you know might have been a period of waiting seven of pentacles is you know waiting time patience and waiting so uh there may have been a period here as you were going through this whole process of whatever happened to you in the past of waiting for something in the justice system or waiting to start new waiting on news whatever here just patiently waiting for some sort of news to come in but now putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work with the eight of pentacles moving forward and maybe you also worked hard in the past eight of pentacles energy is an energy of working very hard mastering your craft learning growing expanding yep so yeah so i feel like yep you're learning you're expanding you're growing your knowledge it might have been a waiting period for a time but you left what was no longer serving you that was just too burdensome and now, you, again, with the learning and growing knowledge, open, honest communication. All right, so let's get some, this is the Life Purpose deck. Let's get some guidance for you, messages and guidance for you. For you, Aquarius. First half of September messages of advice and guidance for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? First half of September, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. We have two. Okay, so maybe, you know, what you're going into now or what you were involved with before uh, involved writing of some kind. Heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. So some of you may be, uh, or you need to write and journal to help you heal through things or maybe now you're uh 
your new path is something to do with writing in some way. And now you have crystals. Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. So maybe some of you are getting involved now with crystal work and moving forward in holistic healing um, and that sort of thing, like Reiki healing, crystals, um, and those sorts of things. Chakra healing. Wow. Or maybe some of you will be writing books on healing, different healing methods, natural healing methods. Hmm, interesting. Or this, these are just separate messages. Maybe you need to uh, get more connected with crystals and learn about them for your energy. Anything else for Aquarius? Let go, exactly. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. So let go. And I feel like whatever you let go of here, because you did have the Ten of Wands, was the best choice that you made of letting that go. Let me do this. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Creative, wow, creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. And I feel like now you definitely are following your heart's desire. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become real. Wow. And we have protection there. We have guidance over there. Wow. So I definitely feel like here, yep. Being uh, following your heart's desire now and being uh, divinely protected in some way, guided, and also from those around you. Aquarius, wow. Some major things going on here for some of you. And if this isn't uh, career related, then it's either just something else that uh, might have been stolen from you in some way or somebody betrayed you in some way. But now you're leaving it behind. Maybe some of you had to get the justice system involved in some way. But now, you know, I think things went in your favor because we do have justice here. And now you're moving on and going in a whole new direction that's divinely guided. And I feel like things will work out the, for the best for you moving forward, Aquarius. Wow. Aquarius, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Um... Hit the little bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so please do not miss out on that. And good luck to you in your situation here. If this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past Aquarius readings. The playlists are there. I would say disregard the um, dates on them because I do consider them timeless. So maybe something in there will resonate for you. So good luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.